is it? Green chemistry or sustainable chemistry is unique, as far as I'm aware, in the whole of chemistry because industrial implementation is an essential part of the discipline. There's no point doing green chemistry unless there's a possibility that it could be implemented on a large scale in industry because you're trying to find cleaner, more sustainable ways of making chemicals. So this gives quite a different aspect to the subject from many of the other parts of chemistry. And for example, I have been involved in building a full-size chemical plant, well, for speciality chemicals, about thousand tons a year. And that was a fantastic experience. And the plant worked really well. Admittedly, there were then reasons why it was not a commercial success. But from the point of view of driving forward green chemistry, I felt it was really good. And most of my students and postdocs now are interacting with industry. I also feel that collaboration between groups across the world are important because the needs of green chemistry, say, in Ethiopia is quite different from the needs of green chemistry in um, developed countries like America or Europe. And so I and my colleagues have been developing strong links across Africa, particularly with Ethiopia, but also with some of the other countries in Africa to try and help them de develop their own aspects of green chemistry. And we've also produced a series of principles, the 13 principles of green chemistry for Africa. I'm Martin Polyakov, Research Professor in Chemistry at the University of Nottingham and Foreign Secretary-elect of the Royal Society, the UK Academy of Sciences.